Here you go, Ram. What a nice bag. Nice bag. So pretty, Ram. You love it? No, I love that too, Ram. You have a Captain America one. Where's your Captain America one? Bring it over here. Yes, yours. Wow, oh, Remy. What do you have in the front pocket? And here comes Levi with his bag. Wow, Captain America and Cinderella. Cinderella is our next um, Oh my, there's a band in the front. Mm -hmm. That's what I have in the front. What you have in the front? Well, uh, I have a Captain America shoe. Very nice. So when it's like it's like um, you know what? I need to use me as um, as um, um, as a superhero, and mm -hmm. and I have um a shell, so mm -hmm. nobody can stop me you now. Oh, Spider-Man! What? How oh, you find that? Put that back. Both Spider-Man. and welcome to another YouTube video on Jody and Tricky. I'm half of the duo, I'm Jody. And today I'm gonna bring you, okay, this is really, I feel this is important. Um, I've been dying to do this video, but I've been waiting to get something special. So this is Remy's baby bag. I'm sure you remember when I showed you everything that I have in Remy's baby bag. Remy is now, she's gonna be too soon. And what I did with Levi was I, um, I transitioned him into a little knapsack so that he could carry his own things um, And not only that, but I find that I didn't need as much things in the baby bag So I just kind of want to downsize and then of course this fabulous baby bag that I do love and I would still recommend And if I had another child, I would um, use this again. Um, I'm gonna give this to Stevie. This is a Skip hop love this bag love the color but I'm gonna downsize Remy today and I do know she does want a little knapsack simply because I see her playing with her brother's own and she sees that when brother leaves the house, he grabs his little Captain America backpack so I wanted to get her one too. This bag is completely separate and apart from her school bag. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, morning coffee. So, I was waiting on this. I went on to good old Amazon. I wanted to get a small bag that she could handle um, and carry herself. Look at this. Cinderella. Isn't that so cute? I think this is really cute. It has a big enough front pocket. What is no? It has a big enough pocket in the front. Let me just open that for you. Carry a little snack or whatever. I actually keep these silica packets. I keep them in my cupboard. It helps with the um, dampness. There's a small pocket at the side, so maybe for like a snack bar or my phone. Oh, it's at both sides have little pockets there. This bag is so cute. This is like little Cinderella. This is by Loungefly. Um, and I find that Loungefly has some really nice bags. Leather bags, or is this pleather? I don't know. But it comes in all like the Disney characters, I think Pixar as well. And they're just great quality and they look really, really good. Take out my silica packets. And inside has a nice large pocket there to hold everything. So this is her little bag. She's going to be so excited when she comes home later. And I show her that she has her own little bag to take on the road with her. All right. So let me show you some of the important things that I'm going to put in her bag. And what I'm going to move over from her baby bag that she would still need. Okay. So 
Um, I think it's important to teach independence and also one of the things that I always say to Levi is it's your things, you're responsible for them. So with teaching responsibility, you have to take your own things. Where's your mask? It's your favorite mask. Did you lose it? I don't wear it. Where is it? Bring it home from school. Where's your water bottle? These are your things, Levi. Where are your things? They're your responsibility. You know, so in teaching responsibility, I want you to take some pride in your belongings, to look after them, to know where they are, put them back, etc. So this is a part of that. So in all my kids' bags, even in their school bags, I have like a little first aid kit, a little medical pack. I call it a medical pack. And this was, you see Levi's name on the back there this is one of Levi's old um, pouches and what I have in here is hand sanitizer this is by um, sweet aloe hand sanitizer by one for all it sprays out really nice and I just find that when you have that mist that spray mist and not the what do you call it That's new. Um, when you have a spray I like it better I feel like you get more coverage anyway um, I have a Cutter Skin Sensations Insect Repellent. So just in case we go, she goes somewhere like grassy area, but Nana and Papa's, you know, we go to the park or something, Hope Zoo, she has some insect, insect repellent on hand. Of course, her Panadol Painkiller. And I find, so it comes with a dropper bottle. Once I put the dropper bottle on, it starts to leak. And this is brand new and I check their packs. Occasionally, like every couple of months, I check the packs um, in their bags just to make sure any medication hasn't expired, do they need anything, um, and then I replace diapers. Every time I come home from a trip, I make sure I replace the diapers and the wipes. Um, and then I do go through the ones in the car, the school bags, just to make sure none of the medication has expired. So this is a brand new painkiller with the dropper, and I just keep them side by side. Sunblock. And I have a Neosporin to go. Benadryl anti-itch cream. I find this is really important to have in your bag just in case your kids um, do get a bite, an insect bite, whether it be a mosquito or whatever. You can always, you know, get something to rub on there. And some of these things I actually bought in the pharmacy out here in Jamaica. And of course, you can get everything here. Um, online little remedies saline nose drops got this at the pharmacy as well um as soon as you hear a little stuffiness or anything just drop some nose drops in and everything will be okay a nail clip there's a little pocket back here um i have some shout wipes that just in case she spills anything on herself or on me i can um Rush in with a shout wipe, and I have some band aids here in some. Oh, I think this is Batman. Okay. And then I bought a pack of these. I think it came like a pack of 50. So once you add water to this, it expands and becomes a cloth. So I guess, like, to clean up, or I don't know, like water spills, or if I need a rag, it, it comes out like a like a towelette kind of thing. Um, thick like a thick like a bounty paper towel, so it's not very tissuey. So I can use it to clean up things or I don't know. I've I, I thought they were really like a good idea, but I've never had to, I've never needed them. But I think they're good to have. And they, they come in a pack of so many. I'm just trying to pack everything back up here. So we have our nail clipper, our anti-itch, our sunblock, saline solution. And please go back in as nicely as it was before. I want to just pack the bag and show you everything. There we go. Okay, everything nice and neat. And then I have the um, mesh front just so I can see what's in there. And then I explain to Remy and for Levi as well went with his that this their medicine is in here when Levi took a day trip with his dad I showed him where his insect repellent was I showed him everything and I let him I just had a conversation with him just to let him know if you need this 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 it's in your bag so I let Remy know just be careful with these things don't touch them don't eat them don't put them in your mouth um because she is going to want to carry her bag and hold them so I have to be careful with that one thing that you need in your school bag, your backpack, your baby bag is a wet bag. You can also use a Ziploc bag, but you know, some extra. 
So what a wet bag is, is if your clothes, your shoes, anything at all gets wet and soggy, stinky, anything like that, you can just drop them in your wet bag here. Um, if you're somewhere and you can't throw away a diaper, actually, those little plastic bags are good. But you know, anything can go in here. You go, it's plastic lined. So you can go home, wipe them out, rinse them out. And then the whole bag won't get smelly and sticky and yucky and goopy. Just drop everything in the wet bag. All right, so now I'm going to look at a few things that are in her baby bag that may need to come over. Those were the things I know I needed. Okay, so in her baby bag, I have a Claire packing cube. She has a swimsuit with sunblock hair. And she goes to Nana's pretty often. I'm thinking that that's something I want to move over. Oh, then we have diaper. Oh, you, oh, you know what? All, all of this are go fit. We have diapers in this large packing cube. We have diapers, we have wipes, we have some diaper cream. Oh, and we have the little um, diaper bags here. Some pseudo cream and a nappy liner. I'm gonna have to try and make all of this fit. These things, are, these things are necessary. How, how, how is this going to work? It's Remy. <laughs> then we have a packing cube here. This packing cube has her another wet bag. It has a baby lotion. It has a onesie, a burp cloth, a bib, a pair of socks, a wash rag. I guess this was in case I was on the road and she got messy. I don't need anything in this packing cube, so I'm gonna put this aside. And applesauce, I'll put this downstairs. What else do I have in here? In one of the pouches, I have her Similac formula in the little to-go packs. So I just pour it into her bottle. And so I'll keep those. Then I have in a little container back here, a pack of tissues. And this is what I was talking about. So you have the little um, container. And then inside, you have these towelettes. So you put water on them and they just expand. So that's actually kind of cool that the I found a container. All right, and in the front of her baby bag is all mommy stuff. I have a Moderma patch in case I go swimming, I just cover my scars. Um, some crystal light and my lip glosses. So I can take my things out of Remy's bag now. Nothing in the side pocket, all right. So now I'm gonna try and pack Remy Locious's bag in as neat of a way as possible. Some other things I'm gonna add are, I'm gonna put in an outfit. This is a little pink halter onesie. And why I chose this is because it's just a one piece. Um, I find that if I put her in a skirt or a dress, I want to pack a panty. So that's two pieces, a little bit more bulky. Shorts and shirt, two pieces, a little bit more bulky. And this onesie, I find that if she's at Nana's house casual, it will suit her just fine. It's cute enough that if she's at a birthday party and messes up herself, that this is, you know, um, stylish enough that, you know, it shouldn't look like too, we call it ratty tatty. So I find that this is a good option and it goes away just small like this and it's a pretty pink color. All right, um, one of the things I'm going to use, I just bought these um, scented sachets. I have them in Levi's school bag, in Remy's school bag, and I'm just gonna drop one in Remy's bag just because I don't like when things smell frozy. Um, the kids know what they are, they've seen them in their bags, and Levi actually used to have a little pillow, but the pillow stopped smelling, and I can't, it's not really conducive to refilling, so I said I would just buy these little paper sachets. You can drop them in your panty drawer, you can drop them in your clothes drawers. This one that I have here, has about 12 sachets in six different scents. So um, it's really strong, so I'm leaving it in the plastic wrapping here. It's leaving it in the plastic wrapping, and then after a while, I will take it out. So I'll put that at the bottom there. Can this whole thing fit in there? It cannot, it cannot. All right, so let me see. She definitely needs diapers. I'll give her three diapers now instead of the five. Um, Wipes, she definitely needs. 
diaper liner I can't tell you the last time I've used one um, not, a, not a diaper liner sorry a bed liner so she doesn't need that anymore Pseudo cream is a must the diaper bags let me see if I have space but sometimes she does some diabolical poos and you know whew. all right I want to cut off this tag let me get a scissors. It's just a really long tag in here. It was not annoying me. Alright, so towards the back, I'm going to put three diapers. And then, should I run out? Should I need, like, need more on this road trip? I do have um, pampas in my car. Um, I have little packs everywhere, like just in case, so I'm not too worried. I think I'm going to take off this handle here. These are great. I've told you about these before. Um, I had these on my list of Amazon favorites, um, and I had this in my baby packing bag. It helps to keep the wipes moist and also just a hard case so it doesn't get mashed up easily. In mine, in my car, I have my antibacterial wipes um, just because I, as I said, it keeps the wipes moister longer. All right, that. we're looking good, we're looking good, we're looking good. Let me get my wet bag here. And you know what? I'm not gonna put these in. If I am in a weird situation where I feel like I need to take a stinky diaper or a wet diaper with me I've never been in that situation I would just drop it in here um, I would just drop it in here as, with, with the clothes and stuff like that so I'm trying to I'm trying to um, consolidate here I'm not sure why I would have to anyway if I do need to I'll just pack all the dirties in here along with the diaper that I'm in some weird places I can't dispose of it strange um, going in with my most important thing in the bag, a little medical pack there. Lord me, I run out of space, girl, I run out of space. Oh, good diaper cream. I run out of space. Little outfit. And then I'm not going to take this big one because... I'm actually going to leave this at Nana and Papa's because that's where she would need it the most. And then remember in her little medical pack she had a small stick of sunblock. So I'm just going to fold up her swimsuit here. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> small swimsuit. Right. And then I'm just going to take her packets of formula hair and drop in as well. And then she does have some space at the top where if she wants to pack her toy or whatever it may be, I'm going to drop a pack of M&Ms right in the front pocket and a bag of chips right at the top here. And I feel like I feel like that's good. I feel like that's good. Let me take off some of the packaging material on the handles. Now wait for Remy to come home and see her little bag. She's gonna pull everything out of it. And what's really cute about this bag too is remember the little mice they were um seen they were making What's her name? Cinderella, her dress. So this is in a measuring tape. Um, what I did with Levi's bag was I asked Nana to take um, to take in this strap. So I think when we go up on Sunday, I'll ask her to do the same. So you know what? I think what she did was she took off the, the extra one completely because this would more be Remy's. Ah, then all of this would be gone. That's a shame, but this strap is too long for Remy, so I'm going to ask Nana to just take it in here, 
so that Remy can carry her own bag. And really and truly, this is not, like I can still swing this over my shoulder, even if she takes it in. But yes, Remy has her own little backpack and she's responsible for her own little things inside. And I just think it's really cute. And I think it does, it does, as I said before, teach responsibility, you know? And then if she does forget her bag, don't worry, I do have diapers all over the place. So it's not like I will have to suffer because Remy left her bag. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed my little video of what I'm packing in Remy's big girl backpack. Um, and I will put some links below to some of the products so that you can get your own little backpack together for your little one just to teach some independence and responsibility. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hey!